and that prosecutors will have the penalties in place to make these crimes a serious felony. Rep. Driscoll is uh, he's, he's a great, great uh, supporter of Main Street, Massachusetts, of uh, the retail sector. Uh, thank you, Joe, and I want to congratulate you on filing uh, this legislation. I want to recognize the work of Representative Driscoll at the state level. He's always focused on law enforcement issues, always trying to look for the tools that prosecutors are going to need in order to solve these types of crimes. The losses nationally amount to around $30 billion. I don't think that the problem can be overstated. What organized retail crime is, is theft ranks that target certain types of merchandise. They steal these things in great quantities, at great expense to our retailers, the expense of which is then passed on to our consumers. They take those items and they resell them either on the internet, at flea markets, or other second-hand dealers. And those proceeds are then used to finance other criminal activities. This is no joke. And that's why we're here today with a broad spectrum of support. People from the retail industry, headed by John Hurst, people in the loss prevention area, with those individuals behind me, Congressman Delahunt, who's filed civil legislation in the federal Congress. And we're sending the message to these criminals that we're not going to take it anymore, that we're going to put penalties in place that will suit the crime.